Well, C. difficile associated diarrhoea is a disease that occurs mainly in hospitals due to the growth and production of toxins by C. difficile in the gut. And generally what happens is that the, um, the patient in hospital goes on antibiotics. The antibiotics disrupt the gut flora and the C. difficile then grows through, produces toxins and that can often be fatal. So the treatment for that is more antibiotics to treat the C. diff as it emerges. And what we've been looking for is an antibiotic that would be specific to C. diff, that would kill C. difficile, but not kill the background microbial flora, which is, of course, beneficial to humans. And we decided that where we'd look for such an agent was in the gut itself. So we isolated 30,000 bacteria from the guts of healthy volunteers, and we screened them for the ability to produce something that would kill Clostridium difficile. And out of those 30,000, we found one bacterium that produces a compound that we've been able to characterize, which we call thuricin. And thuricin kills Clostridium difficile in, in models of the colon, but doesn't kill any other bacteria. And so it's a kind of a magic bullet approach to treating Clostridium difficile. There are many antibiotics already that treat C. difficile. And of course, if you've got a C. difficile infection, the most important thing is you just treat it and eliminate the organism. And the damage to your gut flora is kind of secondary at that point. But what very often happens is that um, when people are recovering, they suddenly go into a relapse because the gut flora has been damaged and, and the C. difficile can return, if you like, because when you're in a hospital environment, it's very easy to pick up C. diff again. What we're really looking for here is something that could help recovery and prevent recurrence. So it might be a second line treatment. You, you treat and then you follow up with something which allows the gut flora to recover while at the same time making sure that C. diff doesn't recover. Uh, the work has been done in collaboration with Paul Ross and Mary Ray and Chagas, and so Chagas and UCC have jointly patented the research. Um, we've patented the compound, Thoracin, and what we're doing now is we've licensed that to a small Irish biotech company called Elementary Health, which is a, a company which supports the activities of the Elementary Farm Biotic Centre, which again involves UCC and Chagas, and they're going to continue now with the commercialisation while we continue with the fundamental research. Well, when you identify a compound, we can take it a fair distance. We knew what the compound was, we knew the genes responsible for its production, um, we had a good sense of what it was, but it's a very complicated compound and you need very specialised people to solve those kind of structures. And we've had a long relationship with John Vedras, who's a, a structural chemist in the University of Edmonton in, in Alberta, and he sent a student here, Clarissa Sitt, and Clarissa spent a year here learning how to produce the compound with us, um, how to characterize it and then she went back to Canada with the purified compound and they've solved the structure uh, in Canada since then. We go over and back and uh, it's a very good collaboration. It's, it's all very well to think or to con conceive of the idea that there might be antibiotics that would be specific against C. diff but it's a completely different thing to actually show that, that th those things do exist and that opens up kind of a whole research area that people can follow us into if you like. So the, the the work and the compound that eventually treats C. diff might be found elsewhere based on the work we've done here. We hope, of course, it'll be our own one, but um, you know, that's, uh, that's not up to us really. That'd be up to the, the market and toxicity studies and human trials and the whole thing you've got to go through. Um, but we think the idea of going into the gut to look for solutions in the gut to problems that originate in the gut will be one that will be very profitable.